friends <laughs> be friends of course we're gonna be friends like duh like matter of fact we best friends we're besties like two peas in the pod the two musketeers and this bitch like we're besties we're we're locked in forever for life like of course i'm like bro i got the proof he said it like that's all i need that's all i needed Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching Miss Angelique TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything, I mean like, of course, another story time. <laughs> but before we get into it, y'all already know what to do. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss any of the details that I am going to be describing to y'all because like, if you haven't watched my last video, which if you haven't, go ahead and just pause this video because you shouldn't even be on the video right now because you're probably not going to even know what the fuck going on so go ahead and go to the other video or the last video that way you can catch up real quick or really honestly catch up the whole series like if you don't know anything of what's going on if you just see my face the first time girl go ahead and subscribe but then go to part or video one i think i stopped numbering my videos so i'm gonna go ahead and number them so hopefully by the time you see this video all my stuff gonna be numbered so yeah, and I'm also trying to come up with a play playlist for y'all as well. Hopefully by the time y'all see all of this, y'all will see a playlist or whatever. That way you can catch up and everything will be in order. Alright, cool. I have my own cosmetic line called Angelic Touch Cosmetics. If you have not already caught on, um, and that's why my face is beat, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm not an expert, I'm not a makeup artist, but girl, I love makeup. And if you love makeup too, just like I do go ahead and go to the site angelictouchcosmetics.com or i'm sorry angelictouchcos.com we're not spelling the whole cosmetic thing out no it's cos so i'll go ahead and put all of the links and everything in the description box and don't forget to enter my giveaway i am hosting a giveaway or angelic touch cosmetics is hosting a giveaway and i'm giving away some free makeup so go ahead and enter the giveaway right now and we just gonna get right into this video because guess what my camera is getting ready to die girl Ain't that some shit? Okay, so if you already caught up to the last story time, you would know that we left off at my mom being arrested. So, boom, my mom got arrested for allegedly sleeping with an underage boy. Okay, I'm talking to my mom on the phone, you know, through jail or whatever. After so long, I had to start putting money on it so I could talk to her, which I hate doing, but. I mean, that's what we got to do. I mean, it is what it is, right? So my mom was like, hey, can you go to my Facebook and can you block the little boy from my Facebook? Because we are friends on Facebook. And I'm like, okay, cool. So she gives me her Facebook password and all of that type of stuff. And um, I think I told y'all in my last story time, I don't remember. But she gives me the information and I block him. And I already told y'all in my last story time, I, um, he was talking to my mom and saying how he had to get surgery or he might have to get surgery on his nuts we didn't know anything about that like I don't know nothing about that still to this day like I don't know but that's just what came out of his you know my world off out of his fingers or from his fingers yeah because it's on Facebook so yeah that is what came from the boy right I decided after all of this went down and I was like hmm so my mom told me about him from Facebook which I in fact did so I'm like hmm okay let me do some investigating on my own because like I didn't get down to the bottom of this like like this is just too much of a serious allegation for me not to try to get to the bottom of right for real for real so I go and I honestly I do not remember how I found this little girl's Instagram I think maybe my mom have my mom probably tagged the little girl on her Instagram because you know they was taking pictures together or whatever like I'll pull back in pictures because I showed that a couple story times ago so to refresh y'all memories my mom had pictures with these little kids or whatever and again the little girl's 16 the little boy's 14 I'm just gonna say that one more time in case you just getting caught up but you should already know what's going on if you've been catching up. So I decided to message the little girl. Yep, I sure did. I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. Let me just message her. I messaged her from my actual Instagram, like my Miss Angelique TV. I ain't give a fuck. Like, and then I didn't want to like message her from a block page or anything like that. Like, I wanted her to know that I was a real ass person. Like, I'm a real bitch. I need, I, I got some questions, okay? So I messaged her and I'm going to go ahead and read to y'all exactly what I told her. Because you know, God, bitch has screenshots, duh. Um, so I said, Hey, I hope you're doing okay. I know you have no idea who I am, but 
I do sort of know who you are. My name is Adoria and I am Maisha's estranged daughter. I've gotten several disturbing calls about some horrible allegations regarding Maisha and and I, I meant to say some guy named Brandon who I don't know. Would it be okay if I ask you a few things? If not, I totally understand. But if so, that would be but if so, that would mean a lot to me because I have children. And if what I've heard has any truth to it, I really would like justice to be served. If you like my phone number, I'd be more than willing to give it to you if you prefer to talk that way. Thanks. Now, just to clarify the whole justice to be served type of thing, I like threw that in there because like like I said, at this point, like I didn't like I didn't know what to believe, but I of course I didn't want to believe that my mama did this. So I wanted to put that in there to kind of like make it seem like I'm not really on anybody's side. Like I just want to know the truth because I got kids and you know, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to make it sound, you know, better, I guess. I don't know how to fucking say it, but y'all know what I'm saying. So that's what I told the girl. Now at this point, I'm waiting for this girl to reply. I'm just like, what the hell did my mom get herself into? Like, how did she get herself into some type of situation like this this is this is big this is huge this ain't no typical regular ass type of situation you know what i'm saying this is like this is her life you feel me so i'm just like wow I, I really couldn't believe it because it was just it all started from her having issues with her boss like if you've been following these stories like you know what i mean y'all know what i say why i said what i'm what i'm saying right now like it all really stemmed from her having issues with her boss well technically no because it she had other issues as well that you know we kind of figured out towards going into the sword but literally like that's really what it, how it all started so we go from my mom having issues and going off quitting her job and shit and and being homeless to possibly being a sexual predator pretty much oh uh, and also i forgot to mention i messaged the boy as well the same time that i messaged the girl i think i um sent him the same message if i'm not mistaken let me look and go back to it and we're gonna read it together uh yeah i literally copied and pasted the exact same message i'll show y'all but I, I copied and pasted the exact same message to him um and i'm still waiting on both of their replies because i was like if i can't get in touch with her then i'm gonna try it with him or one of somebody's gonna fucking message me back bitch like somebody and then my mom went to jail literally right before her birthday like i don't understand what is it about my mom in jail with her birthday she's around this like all of this time or these different phases in her life right now that we're going through she's always in jail on her on her birthday it seems and it's just so weird to me that it always plays out like that like she always in her birth always in jail on her birthday for whatever reason and i'm just like bro what a yet another birthday that she's in jail and i also posted a picture um or like said happy birthday on my facebook i'll show y'all this i like literally screenshot it as i took it because i just knew that i was gonna tell y'all this story like this like if y'all look at the screenshot, I like screenshot the screenshot, bitch. This should say May 12th, but like we are totally in a whole nother year. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have posted a picture of uh, my mom and I. This is when I was pregnant with Nevaeh. I was 15 as fuck, um, young as hell. <laughs> when well, no, I was 16 at the time, I'm sorry, but yeah. Um, so yeah, it was really really sad. <clears throat> um. And then, all of this transpiring, I'm just waiting and waiting, and bitch, suddenly I get a message. I get a reply. I get a reply, and who is it from, y'all? Who is it from? Not the girl, of course. Of course not her. The little boy. So, let's go ahead and just get into the messages. I'm not even gonna hold y'all to it, or I'm gonna just go straight to the message. Um, okay, so, as y'all see, I said the same thing to him. Um, and then he said, okay, but I want proof little boy who are you talking to respect your motherfucking elders like what you mean you want proof like i'm proof who are you but that was honestly my first thought but you know i had to play it along i had to play it wrong and i said proof of what and then i posted a um screenshot of my post that i had recently posted my mom like wrist wishing her happy birthday or whatever and i sent it to him and I said proof that she's actually my mom question mark if so that's her and some that's that's her and some years ago I, I guess I meant to say that's me and her some years ago so he said so that's you and I said yes he said it's nice to meet you you text my sis 
he met like messaged her on um, Instagram and I was like yep I messaged her on Instagram the same thing I messaged you sure did and so he said so the cops are going to try to investigate you um, I said because the situation isn't sit right with me at all so I really want answers and then I said no I'm way in Houston so he says everything I tell you stays with you and me I reply I said I just need to know if this is true or not for my own damn sanity and he says okay I'll tell you and you only <laughs> Bitch, this is getting good. <laughs> Have you subscribed yet? So I replied and I said, <laughs> I promise between you and I, I feel like, this just feels like, so I don't know, it just feels so wrong. But I was trying to get the tea, y'all. No bad intentions. I was just trying to get the tea. But I'll say I promise between you and I, my mom and I, I haven't, my mom and I haven't been on good terms. But like I said, I have child also i i had typos bitch i was just typing i didn't even realize i have three and pregnant with another my mom hasn't seen my youngest and it breaks my heart to hear things like this breaks my heart even more if it's true so yes everything stays between you and i i promise so he replies and says yes and i hope we can be friends to just chat Nah. I'm grown. What? Just chat. Be friends. My mama locked up because of you. Be friends. Be friends. <laughs> be friends. Of course we're going to be friends. Like, duh. Like, matter of fact, we best friends. We besties. Like, two peas in the pod. The two musketeers in this bitch. Like, we're besties. We're, we're locked in forever for life. Like, of course. The fuck? So, my stupid ass says, sure, of course. Because, bitch, sure, of course I'm about to make this man a little boy, should I say. Um, make me make him feel like I'm going to be his friend. Because, like, I'm trying to get some important details out of him that I could possibly use against him in the court of law. Like, come on now, duh, we're going to be friends, bitch, the fuck? So, I said, my name is Adoria, obviously. And I threw a little LOL in there because, bitch, <laughs> we LOLing in this bitch at this point. Because, like, come on now, son like we 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 friends so he says you can call me oh wait bitch i just did his name <laughs> say something different so he says you can call me peter we're gonna say that's what he said okay but my name is guns <laughs> so i said nice to meet you he said it's a pleasure to meet you so i go and say how have things been these last few weeks what went wrong and this little motherfucker texts me a picture or messages me a picture of him and he said this is me I'm ugly and you can tell it's from snapchat because of the filters and shit bitch uh you know the little doggy filters they had back in the day that I haven't seen in years yeah that's how old that's how y'all know this shit old and then he said I'm so ugly I'm just like why is this little boy sending me pictures of himself okay so my stupid ass go don't say that practice self-love <laughs> don't say that practice self-love like for real for real though. like i'm dead ass practice self-love so he says i do i also practice self-harm girl this is my first time going back to these messages since the whole situation and i totally forgot how dark this little boy was and you wouldn't believe it if i didn't have the screenshots bitch what practice self harm sir whenever i read that i knew like this little boy had problems and like now it's getting really really weird i go and i say well that isn't good at all don't be afraid to talk to someone when you feel like that harming yourself isn't the answer i promise can you please help me understand why my mom has been charged with the type of charge she's been charged with? I got straight back to the point. I went ahead and said my little spill, you know, because you don't ever want to just not, you know, say something. Mental health is serious, obviously. This is what this whole fucking series is about. So I just, I didn't want him to feel like I was ignoring that. But to be completely honest, like, I have nothing to do with that. And I'm really just trying to get the truth. So he goes and say, well, that's a hard one. Her and Brandon, good people. Wasn't they supposed to move in with you? I said, yes. Although my mom and I are not close as I wanted us to be, I just find it hard to believe these allegations. And no, they were never supposed to move in with me. She did say Brandon had a place in Beaumont, Texas, though, and that she would come visit me in Houston. I don't know if the whole moving part 
came in, but whatever. Um, he says, wait, do you want me to tell you what I have to do with this and how you find my Facebook? <sighs> Boy, you asked me too many motherfucking questions. Like, that's how you know you're dealing with the child, because, come on, son. What the fuck happened, my nigga? Like, what happened? What happened? So, I say, my mom would always talk so highly of you and your sister to me and is a very visual person. So, she wanted me to see you guys, and I did on social media, but I never thought... I should add you or your sister because I didn't want to seem weird, lol. I'm lying like a motherfucker, bitch, because, like, the fuck? I ain't never known to seen this man. I didn't even know this man had a Facebook on top of that. Like, I'm lying. I need to do what I need to do to, to try to get the truth, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm gonna lie. Y'all know the truth, though. I never thought I should add you or your sister because I didn't want to seem weird, lol, but I just remember, but I just remembered the names. And yes, I want to know if she or Brandon actually slept with any of you guys. It just sounds so unlike her. But if it actually happened, I would want to be mindful of her being that I have young children, if that makes sense. So he goes to say, well, not to sound rude, but why would she sleep with her niece or nephew? This is when things get confusing. And I said my point exactly like duh that's all i needed to fucking know i'm like bro i got the proof he said it like that's all i need that's all i needed so i thought so i said my point exactly but that's what she's being charged with then he says i mean in real life i look like i'm 18. now before i continue to read this i'm gonna say this when my mom first started to like discuss the family like she would describe the little kids and mom or whatever and she used to say like yeah the little boy look much older than he um actually is and again i thought nothing of it like i mean she's just making a description like i mean it is what it is like there's little boys out here that looks older than they really are like that's just the world you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna say that because i'm just gonna say that because what the fuck he just said all right so i said you definitely don't look your age gassing like a motherfucker because girl what but i still don't believe my mom would cross that line getting straight back to the point bitch i mean come on she's a whole grandma which she is so he says damn laughing emojis i'm sorry so i said laugh my ass off no i mean like she got grandkids and i don't think she'd ever sleep with someone under 18. So he says, as for Brandon, me and him both got depression. And going back off topic. I did look older, but I don't even find myself attracted. Wait, he says, he meant to say, because he corrected himself. I do look older, but I don't even find myself attractive. Boy, I don't give a fuck with attractive, which you don't find attractive. Like, he just kept getting off topic, and it really wasn't making sense to me. That's why I said things got weird and confusing, because it's like, why are we talking about what you feel about yourself i don't care son like save it for dr phil save it for your mama save it for your daddy your pastor your therapist save it for all of them but don't save it for me bitch because like i ain't trying to hear that shit like so i said yes i do know that about brandon i myself suffer from de depression but i don't let it take over me i control it as much as possible so he says i don't i say you didn't really answer me earlier because I'm trying to figure out like, boy, come on now. Did my mom or Brandon sleep with you or your sister? This shit is eating me up. So he says, no, it was just me and Maisha. Maisha's my mom, if you didn't know. What about you and Maisha? Well, we ain't sleep together. We fucked up. I said, okay, prove it. Cause I'm pulling a him on him. Like, you you want me to prove shit? Prove that shit to me, like, prove it. He goes and say, how do I prove it? I say, do you know the tattoo she got? He say, and how do you prove you really her daughter? Didn't I just do this in the beginning? Who did this nigga think he is? So I say, in the places you can't with her fully being closed so this is this is me connecting that to the first or to the last text I was saying about the ta tattoo so yeah I wanted him to tell me what tattoo she had in the places that you wouldn't be able to see unless she had her clothes off so I was like dude look at my profile I wish my mom a happy birthday me replying to the whole prove that the daughter shit like stop playing with me so he says I mean how do I know who's texting so I go and say you need me to call you instead and then he says nah because my mom 
young ass sir you need to see my birth certificate with a name because at this point i was willing to just just release it all like getting my medical records do you need to see the video of me coming out the cooch like what do you need at this point because i'm willing to give it all for what i need i'll give it i'll give it as long as i can receive it like come on what, 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 what you need what you want because i need to know what the fuck was going on you're being around the bush you, you give me the run around and i i'm like come on stop proving shit i'm grown like that's how you know you're dealing with a little boy a little kid because why are we doing the whole proven thing like we're grown it's either it is what it is like it is what it is said, but we fucked in the dark because we didn't want to get caught i understand you're upset so I say now I feel like you're playing with me because you just told me why would she sleep with her niece or nephew. And the whole niece, I forgot to mention the niece and nephew shit. My mom used to refer to them as the niece and nephew if you didn't catch me say that on my other story times. But you should have because that means you've been caught up. But if you ain't, you need to stop the video because you, you ain't getting caught up like you need to be, bitch. Alright, stop playing. I'm not upset, lol. Like, come on, brother. Like, I'm not upset. Um, which I was really, really annoyed. Um, honestly shit I am too I wanted them to get away with it no cap I came to you and I was 100% honest with you and I expect you to do the same and not play any games not he says and then I say okay but your mom told my mom she had it on camera so wouldn't that be our proof I don't even remember that I don't know if that was another lie or something so he said I'm being very honest you got the video but hey I say, no, I don't. Your mom says she does, though. Wait, you text my mom? And I said, no. When my mom called me from jail, I, oh, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm explaining. Um, I say, no, when mom called me from jail, I asked her what happened. And she mentioned that the other day, her and Brandon left y'all house. But your mom told my mom she supposedly has a video of my mom having sex with you. So I'm trying to figure out why this video hasn't came out to the light. Unless she lied. Dot, dot, dot. He goes and say, and then I say, I don't know who the fuck to believe. That's why I'm talking to the person who should know the truth. So he says, she probably did because she was asleep. And I'm like, she probably did what? And he said, lied. I guess, well, he's saying his mom lied because his mom was asleep when apparently this situation happened. He goes to say, because she was always asleep when it went down. Always asleep when it went down. Did it, how many times it went down? Like, I, I'm just realizing what he said always. Like, as if as if he's suggesting that it happened more than once. Like, but, um, but yeah, from what I heard, she got charged. She got a minor charge. That's what he said. He, she, he claimed my mom got a minor charge. I don't know how the fuck he heard that with his young ass. Like, fuck. Where are you going to get that information from, sir? But I was like, no, she was charged with a felony. He says, what? not what the police told me and i said well just as of a few days ago she was formally charged with the felony coronal knowledge of a juvenile he says unless passing of a std and knowledge of a minor oh wait that's a felon damn what then underneath i said what std did she pass because i'm just like what this is the first thing we hear anything about an std he says they say they don't know they say i have one the doc then I go and say, I said, why would the doctor tell you that they have one and not tell you what kind it is? And he says, I don't know. It's ag, though. You're ag. I pray you get better. He says, thanks. And then I said, thank you for letting me know. Now I can comfortably never, ever talk to her again and be sure to keep my kids away from her. He says, I'm sorry this happened. I say, it's cool. And then he says, and please give her a second chance. Let me explain. I said, nope. You have no idea what I've been through with her since I was nine years old. All I've ever wanted a relationship, all I've ever wanted was a relationship with her. And every time I give her a chance, super shit like this happens, I'm over it. And then I said, explain what? He says, be like a blanket, like you are with your kids. When they come under stress, you love them. Your mom, a little stubborn, but she just needs love more. She's fun to talk to. Spoke highly of you when telling me about how when we meet. I guess in real life he meant you would be better because you a good person uh, and then I say it's not about love it's about why would a 44 year old because at the time she's 44 um, have sex with a 14 15 year old when she has a boyfriend which is Brandon not put in quotations or parentheses and just plain know the fuck better that shit makes me angry then he says can I say this no disrespect to my homeboy but his dick is a paper clip 
he said this stupid shit. Then I said, LOL, why you say that? And he said, because I walked in on him changing and all I seen was a lump in his long ass shirt. And then I said, oh, LOL. Weird. Like, weird. Why are you telling me this? This is all weird. This little boy is just weird. Everything about him is giving me weird vibes, bitch. It's weird. Weird. He said, yeah, mine at least go all hurt her bitch totally forgot any of this was fucking said like totally forgot <sighs> i'm not gonna read that part oh and then he said i know tmi after he said that retarded ass shit and then i said once again i, pr I appreciate you let me know hope things are better for you and your sister now because i totally ignored that because boy i'm a married ass woman and you a little boy you're not about to get me trapped that boy trying to trap me bitch you know the fuck what let me find out because he's bold at his words like as if he's a grown ass man and I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. Watch who the fuck you talking to little boy. Where's your mama? What did you make on your spelling test? Did you give your mama your field trip permission slip so that you can go to the zoo tomorrow? They are good people aside from that. And I say you keep saying they're good people but a good person doesn't fuck a minor period. That ain't good people to me. Sorry. So he said, not what I mean. I said, aside from that, by the way, wish me luck. I got to have surgery. So he's talking about the surgery again, bitch. And then I said, best of luck on everything. And I said, ouch. That was a lot. And this was supposed to be a lot of other stuff after this. And I don't know how much footage I have. So I feel like I'm going to have to cut this video shorter and make this a part two to this part. Because I made a whole list of what I was going to talk in this one video. And just to get through that thread, bitch, was just... Uh, that sucked the life out of me. I can't remember if I told my mom the conversation. And if I did, I don't. Or I know for a fact I didn't tell her what the little boy said. Um, as far as what they did. But I don't really remember, like, actually having a conversation about me talking to him. Behind her back type shit. Because I thought I was going to get some evidence. But I didn't. Because it kind of backfired on me in a way. Because it's, it kind of seemed like it was going to get good whenever he said what he said. You know, why would she fuck her niece and nephew? And then I'm like, yeah, why would she do it? And then he says, but we fucked though. During this, these next couple of weeks that are passing, my mom like still sounded pretty confident that she was going to beat the case. Um, she sounded pretty confident that it didn't happen and that she was being set up and that Veronica or the mama, I, I, I keep forgetting the damn lady name that I named it but the weirdo mom his mom you know um and I don't want to call him a weirdo because he probably do have like issues or whatever so like no offense on that part but it was kind of weird um but yeah like she was just my mom was just so convinced that the family was setting her up for whatever reason but whenever I talk to the dude the little boy something totally different comes up and I'm just like I don't know what the fuck to believe at this point I do her and like Brandon and my mom they were both in the same jail so like I didn't I don't know what the fuck they got going on in Louisiana but the males were like in the same area somewhat of the women I guess I don't know exactly how I said a bitch I ain't never been in jail I ain't just gonna lie to you hold it to you but I am gonna say that my mom would tell me how she would see Brandon passing and they would be able to exchange notes between each other somehow and you know during the duration of the time that he was there because he wasn't at that jail for that long and my mom was also keeping up with this whole i'm pregnant um scenario and she even came up with a baby name i have tons of letters that she wrote y'all we're gonna get to that part but like i don't know what she named the baby but the, the, the baby it had a weird ass long ass name stupid ass name um, but she was still going along with that, so I knew at this point she still really was in her right mind, at least. Time went on, you know, and whenever I said time, I mean, like, weeks at a time. Like, my mom was arrested in October 2019. November passes, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, she's still in jail. I'm not hearing anything about her getting no STD tests. I'm not hearing anything about her trying to fight this. I'm not hearing anything about anything other than the fact that she has a public defender and he is doing his best i don't know like he wasn't even communicating with her my mom had given me his number to like call but i couldn't even reach and communicate with anybody so everything was just up in the air nothing was like really happening it was just like she was just there in jail just sitting and eventually brandon even 
left because like i said y'all he wasn't charged with what my mama was charged with he was just charged with being the fuck out of state being in louisiana when he should have been in texas because he was on probation and parole and he wasn't supposed to leave the state uh border so or the state limit so he did and they ended up extraditing him from louisiana to texas that's why you see like on his mugshot it's the extradition stuff yeah like that's what that means and another thing we gotta remember y'all at this time my mom and i still had this restraining order in place i don't think i ever touched back on that since i actually finalized the restraining order um because everything kind of happened so quick whenever i found out that alan was whipping mom ass like i totally like said fuck the restraining order like fuck everything that prevented us from talking and i needed to like make sure my mom was okay like that was my main priority so i didn't give a fuck about the restraining order obviously my mama didn't give a fuck about the restraining order january comes and goes february comes and i have my son gavin i give birth my last son my last pregnancy janky jesus i'll never be pregnant again bitch never ever ever me and my mom was still talking like we were talking on the phone while she was in jail and stuff like that you know it was kind of weird she was in the room whenever i had nevaeh and santiago but she wasn't in the birthing room with junior because that's when i had first got the restraining out order out on her so now the next baby come and we talking but she in jail this time yeah girl i didn't have too many fucking kids but it was weird because like she was there but she really wasn't there because she called me while i was in labor she called me checking up on me you know throughout the day and stuff like that so it's kind of like she was there but she wasn't she was in jail um it was really bittersweet um i don't even want to get into me being sad about it because bitch i don't feel like crying i already got a headache and like <laughs> don't feel like crying really but yeah it was real sad or whatever because i was like damn like it's my last baby you know my mama hadn't even at this point my mama hadn't even met my last son um and still haven't met any of them by the way but um yeah it was really like bittersweet but i got through it and i was glad i was able to at least hear her voice and stuff like that and um i was able to mail her pictures of the babies that goes and comes and then bitch covid comes <laughs> and stays clearly because it's, we're still in the, in the middle of a fucking pandemic right so um yeah covid come and my mom catches covid another set of problems to deal with right and we still not even done with the main problem that we came to the video for right like we still haven't fully confirmed whether whether or whether or not this is true we gonna confirm it we we get into it we get into it but because the bitch been recording for a long ass motherfucking time and i told you i got a headache and i think i'm getting sick bitch so yeah we're gonna cut this short we're gonna talk about it in my next video but if you have not subscribed already which you should have because i didn't told y'all that about I don't know how many minutes ago. I don't know how long this video is, but y'all know I didn't told y'all. I told y'all to subscribe. So if you haven't, it's cool. I'm gonna give y'all a last, last warning, a last chance <laughs> to subscribe, be a part of the family, so that we can get to the truth. Like get to the truth and finally, like it feels good to finally be done with it. But I'm still not done with it. I'm like fuck. Every time I think I'm done with it, it's it's so much details. Like even though I have notes, cause y'all, I have to literally write everything down from step by step because it's so much information so many screenshots so i have to make sure i'm putting everything in a, in chronologically quote what chronological the time order bitch like i can't talk tonight y'all know what the fuck i meant to say it's still so much detail that i have to talk about in between like even though i'm making bullet points of the main thing i'm going to talk about like it's still so much with within that so that's why i didn't think or I, that's why i underestimated this video i didn't think that the screenshots would be so long so yeah we got another long video coming up for y'all so stay tuned subscribe follow my facebook um my facebook well y'all follow my angelic touch cosmetic my my business facebook definitely um go follow that follow me on instagram though or snapchat i'll y'all already know my stuff right here bring it back my angelic talk episodes angelic talks angelic happy hour you know when i drink my little wine and i answer y'all questions or y'all have stuff y'all want to get off y'all chest y'all want to tell a story like go ahead and email me i have my, all my emails and stuff like that in the description as well email me or you can text me i'll put that in the comment section in case you're not you know you just want to hit send me a quick little text you ain't gonna pull up your little email app or whatever but just send me a text and i'll be able to answer you and reply back to you 
anonymously. Bye, y'all. See y'all in my next video.